Hi everyone, uh, first of all I would like to say thank you to Lucas Winkler who really helped me in designing uh, this uh, given tutorial. So the idea I got was uh, coming from a client of mine um, during a training who actually showed me his uh, contact page and then on the contact page I told him that okay you can easily track the phone number because people can uh, just click on it. Then regarding contact form it's kind of easy because I mean forms are sent so it's kind of easy data that you can track out so as the chat uh, but uh, when it comes to more complicated stuff such as uh, let's say the physical address such as this one I told him that there's no possibility to track that out and then after I think about it a little bit more and then I say okay maybe we can we can do something for you just precise that the client is not right now it's just basic example I just got through uh, my, my head right now so uh, what I did is I designed a web page that you can find over here on which uh, you have um, a bunch of paragraphs and here you have different uh, different information. So regarding the, let's say, the physical address over here, as you can see, when you are on such a, when you are on a website like this, if you have an intent to contact the company, well, you can play it on the visible element. So to say it's when this given piece of content will be visible on the browser that you can decide to fire it but th this is kind of a kid stuff to do I mean if you go on uh, on Matomo all you need to do is just to go within the tag manager and then you have a trigger which is uh, which is based on this which is the element visibility so I'm not going to describe this I'm not going to describe as well uh, the people who are uh, let's say clicking on the element that will be too easy I'm just going to uh, explain two other ways, uh, one which is the over, so the fact that you pass your mouse over the given address, which means that you may have an intent to uh, measure something, and as well the people who are selecting uh, the text. So regarding the text selection, so this uh, piece of code has been uh, provided to me by uh, Lucas. So that's in a tag manager, that's a custom HTML tag that you need to add on the page. Uh, you need to fire it on the page view level, so to say on the contact on page. And this is what the, the script is, uh, is doing. So this is what you need to type in by hand because you don't have any trigger uh, like this within, uh, within Matomo Analytics. Here, uh, what does it mean? It means that on your page, you should, you should have an HTML element, which is named address, which is the case uh, over here, if I just uh, do something like this, as you can see, I just I just put it within an address uh, HTML tag element. So this what this part uh, is about is okay. If you see on the page uh, something like uh, HTML element which is named uh, address, then I want uh, you to react on it. If someone is uh, gonna select it, and here is is the part. Uh, which is dealing with the debugging part, so the one using the, uh, let's say, the Firefox console or Google Chrome console, if you are interacting with the element. And here I added, in fact, my uh, track event in order to say, okay, contact, intend to contact and, and select address. Um, so once you create this tag and that you publish it, uh, what's going to happen is that if you go on the given website, such as what I'm doing right now. So here, nothing is happening. If I over my mouse over the stuff, it's not happening anymore. But if I start to select something, then uh, I'm getting uh, the, the, the tag triggered. So uh, it's currently 204. If I look within my, uh, my Matomo, which is uh, over here, I should get, in fact, uh, the event recorded, which is uh, what we have uh, over here. You see, uh, it's the intent to contact, which have been uh, which have been fired. This one. In addition to to it, uh, what I did is um, I added another event, which is the on mouse over, which is not like one hundred percent super well defined here. As you can see, it's firing many times. So I was here on the page and got it uh, fired twice, whereas it should have been fired only once. In order to define this one, what I did is I went um, over here, so I just, just went within the source code, and as you can see, uh, this was not good, let me just, uh, oops, 
Okay, uh, do, do, do. that should not be the expected behavior. Let me just uh, upload it again. Oops. Okay, I'll just double check here. So that should have been the one. That should be an event mouse over. So MTM push event on mouse over, which should be displayed over here. So if it's not displayed, it's just that I'm not doing my job well. Um, and I haven't sent the right version, so okay, okay, and uh, let's okay. So yeah, MTM push event on mouse over. So this is a custom event within a Matomo tag manager that I should define in order to send it properly. So what I did over here is I created the triggers. The trigger is the following one: is the custom event. And um, and this is the one who's gonna react on a custom um, on a normal tag on mouse over as you can see over here, and uh, yeah, uh, here I could do it like this on spare page view, and like this I will reduce the number of time it is sent, and issue will be fixed. Okay, all good. Uh, so le let's do it. Uh, so here I'm on the page, I just over my mouse over this one, and now it's just gonna fire on the ons. And this is what we're gonna notice now. So as you can see here, yep, contact on mouse over. So uh, here it's 10.06, and if I do it again, I should not see uh, any additional ones coming through. So here I'm doing it like several, several times, and the last one should still be 206. Okay, so not happening. Probably that's a cache issue. So uh, I'm just gonna refresh it again and I'm gonna do it like 10 times. Okay, so done. Okay, so here as you can see, I have many, many is like 29, and now I should just see. Two 30. Uh, show 24 more actions, so which is fine, it's still the same number as you can see it has been fired on the hands. Uh, so that's it, uh, that's everything that I wanted to show you. So two ways that you can uh, dig more than a simple click, like select a bunch of text, which is the method I show you with the custom HTML tag, or with uh, on mouse over. Hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.